I posted this uh, video and a question uh, two or three days back and uh, I posted the question that there was a consultant one and he said that the pulmonary artery this is the same patient pulmonary artery and aorta forming a V and the trachea which is a normal three vessel uh, trachea view but consultant uh, B reviews the case and it sees that no trachea is in the middle the aorta is on the right side and PA is on the left so that means this is a right sided aortic arch the answer is that consultant B made a mistake like many of you have already pointed out that the, the right the, it's not the trachea it's the right bronchus and the aorta is coming on the side of the right bronchus and this is trachea but we normally don't see this kind of pattern on a three vessel trachea view what is happening here is that this view is a little lower than three vessel trachea view and in an angled view where the aorta is crossing under the pulmonary artery from the right to the left and from the left to the right and then going back uh, to form so this gives a confusion as if there is a right sided aortic arch just to tell you what uh, the aortic arches are like normally this is aorta which is lying anterior and to the left of the right bronchus then it's to the left of the trachea goes to the right side behind to form a descending aorta while the right sided aortic arch goes little towards the right on the right bronchus it goes over the right bronchus superior to the right bronchus and then it goes to the right of the trachea then behind trachea and esophagus and going posteriorly at descending aorta we considered that there was an answer from many of you that could this be a double aortic arch yes there was a confusion today that there was a, a, a idea that it was it a double aortic arch and what we were thinking was in the double aortic arch the aorta goes to the right above the right bronchus and then to the left uh, of the trachea one of the arms or the left arm of the double aortic arch we reviewed the patient again and the consultant B still feels that the trachea is in the middle and and then demonstrated that there is a double aortic arch and double aortic arch you have one aorta another aorta right and a trachea but wasn't very clear then I just want to share with you in a normal situation bronchus generally does not come to the right of the aorta bronchus is usually posterior to the to the aorta let me show you that here now you see this is uh, the aorta and then you see when the now this is the right uh, bronchus so aorta is going above the right bronchus and not on the right side of it and today again we reviewed the patient and it was very clear that this was a normal pulmonary artery normal left sided uh, aorta this is the trachea this is the subclavian artery which is going on the right uh, a normal subclavian artery the left subclavian artery and you can actually see this is branching into the vertebral artery and the subclavian artery.